Hello everyone. My name is Nick Menacucci and I'm an associate professor at RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia. Um, I teach into a number of mathematical physics courses and uh, since moving online because of coronavirus, we have uh, had to uh, come home, which means that we don't have access to the same uh, recording materials that we would uh, at, the, at the office. So I've made a document camera. Uh, and I'll show you how this works in a moment, but uh, before I do that, I want to sh show you how it works in action. So if I were to uh, write an integral like this, then uh, it shows up as you can see. And I could write, I can move my hand around, I can, I can show what's going on. Um, there is a, a, a bit of lag, there's a, about a half second lag, um, but it, it works pretty well. So I'm going to show you how I did this. So first of all, the setup that I'm using for this is uh, uh, Canvas Studio. So it is a recording of the screen and it allows uh, whatever's on the screen to be recorded in real time. So if I move this pen around, it gets recorded as well as showing the uh, showing my webcam. Uh, so that's, that's all recorded. It's a screen recording, that's the main thing, with a webcam overlay. Uh, the other thing to be aware of is that with the, the particular setup that I have, I have uh, a couple of, um, this is actually a terminal window that I have uh, used to cover part of the display. Um, and that's just because of the particular uh, setup that I have for my camera. So if I reveal what's underneath that, um, it actually looks like this. So, I mean, you can see that this is a, a, an iPhone photo that is currently, um, it's, it's not actually recording a video or anything. It's just what the camera is seeing at the moment in my iPhone. So uh, importantly, I have set the uh, the exposure lock so that it doesn't constantly change light exposure and it doesn't constantly change focus, which could be a problem if I move my hand um, up toward the camera, it might lose focus on the, on the paper. So I do that just by pressing my finger on the screen and holding it down until it says photo lock. But because of that, um, I also have to have another terminal window up above here, which you can't see. Um, well, actually, I don't need the terminal window. What I need to do is to have the boundary of the screen recording not include the little thing that says um, um, auto exposure, uh, auto focus lock. Uh, and I, I tap in the upper left corner here in order to make that happen. So um, I'm going to uh, physically take the phone out now um, and show you what this setup looks like. So the actual setup here is just a cardboard box. So this is a cardboard box that I got from Wine Selectors. Um, it's the one that I had uh, hanging around. And uh, so essentially what you need for this is a cardboard box, a knife, and some blue tech. Uh, although the blue tech is technically optional. Um, I also found it useful to have a light. Uh, so I cut a hole here for the light and uh, I cut a hole here for the camera. So the iPhone uh, would just go directly onto there and it sticks on the blue tack and uh, everything's good. Now, one other thing, uh, one other feature that I'd like with a regular document camera is the ability to slide the paper up and down, but because, so this is a, some notes that I had from a, uh, from a course, um, but of course, because the camera is, uh, because I'm in a box here, uh, it, it's, it's possible for the paper to get stuck at the back. So what I've done for that, if you wanna see, is I've actually put toothpicks back there. Um, you can also see that I've put a piece of paper uh, in the back to reflect the light down. I found that this worked best. Um, this light source is, <laughs> believe it or not, this light source, let me take this out for you. This is um, something called a, it's called a grillinator. And uh, this thing is just a, a, a light that goes on your grill because um, I, I have a, you can't really see it, the, the autofocus is on, but I have a grill outside, which um, uh, I like to use when it's dark. And so uh, I have this, this light source, but it, it works as a fantastic light source for this, um, for this document camera, if you will. So I'll put that back. It doesn't really matter how you set it up. You just, you just gotta get it in there. And then in this case, it's, uh, hang on one second. You just have to get it, um, so that it's reflecting off the white paper so that there's some diffuse light. And then that's, that's enough. You can set the, uh, 
the exposure. Um, for the actual connection to the computer, this is going to cause some interesting uh, yeah, repetition. There we go. Um, I'm using uh, what's called, uh, what, what is this thing called? This is um, Lonely Screen. This is a free um, AirPlay receiver. There's a number of solutions that you could use for that instead. Uh, and that's, that's about it. So the phone goes to the AirPlay receiver, and then I use Canvas Studio to do a screen record with a uh, webcam overlay, and then I have my uh, terminal window, which blocks the remaining piece of the, um, uh, 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 of the camera so that it doesn't look so quite so ridiculous. And uh, that's it. So it's a pretty simple setup. Um, you can put anything in here, of course. You could, put, um, you could put objects or if you're doing some engineering thing and you want to show what's going on. Um, one other thing, you may be wondering why I'm not using an iPad or a Surface or something to, uh, uh, to do this. And there's a couple reasons. The first, uh, first one is that I just don't have one at the moment. So um, there's that. But also, I, I do like writing on paper. And and I like uh, I like the feel of it and uh, and I I, um, I can point to things as well because I have my hands in there as well as a pen, um, so uh, that's that's basically why. You also may be wondering why I have toothpicks here. Um, the ones at the back are to let the paper slide easily up the back, but um, the ones on the sides are for stability. I also have some at the top there, although I don't know if they're really doing anything. Um, it's, you probably don't need them. So th this thing tends to, to vibrate sideways, tends to shear a bit, but um, uh, you, you probably don't need them if you have a sturdy enough box. I've, I've put some, some tape on the, on the corner here, as you can see, and I folded the, the top back. Um, the, the, the weight of the light actually provides some stability as well. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's what we got. And uh, online, online teaching is a challenge, especially if you're used to being in the lecture hall and able to move your hands and, and talk to people and, and interact. Um, so there are some ways to do that. But uh, um, we, have, we have some tools, and uh, you can make some of your own with simple materials. So if you have any other questions, you can uh, email me. My email is on the RMIT website. Uh, my name is Nick Menacucci. And uh, But until then, uh, hats off to all of you trying to do online learning for the first time. Uh, I wish you the best.